prefabricated dentures. These are really, really good for immediate dentures. You can use them for permanent dentures, but they're excellent for an immediate denture. They're prefabricated, they come in a box, and each one is, a, there's several different sizes, and each one's in a plastic bag. So you select the denture size that best, fit, best fits the stone model, and you take an impression of the arch once you have extracted the teeth, placed uh, small diameter implants, whatever you're going to do, then you take an alginate impression of that arch after the teeth have been extracted and you pour it up in a stone model. Then you boil water. You place the Lorel denture in the boiling water for 45 seconds, remove the denture from the boiling water, and shape it to the stone model. It becomes softer, not real soft, but soft enough to mold it to the stone model. Then cool the denture with tap water and then reline the denture in the patient's mouth with soft or hard liner. So these are the sizes, some of the sizes, and you pick the one you can try it in actually in the plastic so you don't have to take it out of the plastic on the stone model and see which one most closely fits the patient's arch. So we picked this one. See, so this is a stone model of the arch after the teeth have been extracted. Boil it for 45 seconds. Put it back on that stone model and mold it. We had these in the office and I've always had my lab fabricate a, an immediate denture from a preoperative study model that oftentimes has the teeth on the model. Most of the time it does. And so they're kind of guesstimating how the laboratory denture is going to fit. And so we had to do an immediate one time just immediately and we use these and I thought, oh, this is going to be awful and we're going to have to get a immediate denture from the laboratory as soon as we possibly can. Well, this thing was actually very, very good. It's not perfect, but it's very, very good. And see, we've placed small diameter implants, so I'm going to squirt this super fast setting blue mousse polyvinyl siloxane in the denture so I can mark the position of the small diameter implants. Now, before you put this to place, be sure you put some uh, neosporin ointment on the surgical site so this blue mousse doesn't stick to the suture. Just push it to place and it's going to be a little bit high because the implants are sticking out just a little bit. Then you're going to go to the lab and just with a long shank round burr you're going to cut holes in the denture through the holes that the implants made in the blue mousse. And then you're come <coughs> going to come back and hollow those holes out some more. You want the holes to be much larger than the implant size so you don't have to mess with seating it for a long time. So we're going to, once we place the denture in the mouth, you can see the implants, and I'm going to mark any areas that I need to adjust a little bit more. And so see, I'm just going to adjust these just a little bit more. Then place Vaseline to prevent the soft liner from sticking to the areas you don't want it to stick to. Now this is just Neosporin ointment. You could use Vaseline, but I like to use ointment. And this is Lionel tissue conditioner or a temporary reliner. I really like it. There's some that are real hard that you squirt out of a gun. I like this because it goes in softer, very durable, and even once it sets up after a week or two, it doesn't get real hard like some of those pink ones do that are squirted out of a gun. So you let this set for about two to three minutes in the jar before you put it in the denture. You spread it around. Again, you've got the paste, I mean the neosporin ointment on the implants and the suture. Push it to place. See, it'll seat all the way now because the implants aren't preventing it from seating like they were when you charted their position with the blue mousse fast set in there before the holes had been cut for the implants. Then you're going to take your finger and just wipe off a lot of that excess linol that's come through the holes on the palatal side. Then trim that off. It's real easy to trim. This is fix it in. Now you wet the denture, wet the liner material, wet the denture, then have the patient swish water around in their mouth or you can just squirt it in the mouth. So you want 
the denture wet and you want the patient's mouth wet, then put this just on the palatal part. Don't put it up here where the implants are and tap it on a, a piece of paper and get that excess off. Don't tap this down the sink or you'll plug your sink up. You'll just tap it and get the excess off. Now this is my Neosporin uh, ointment, Neosporin pain. Push it to place and there you have it. These dentures are really stable and they work great as a temporary denture. That's the dental minute. These procedures work and they work every time.